It's the 10th of March 1977. Manhattan Transfer are at number one in the British charts with Chanson d'Amour and Barbra Streisand is at number one in the US charts with Evergreen. Various other things are going on. The significance of this day is that it was the day the rings of Uranus were discovered. Now if you look very carefully at this picture of Uranus you will find that there are stripes just about visible which you've probably missed. Let's have another go. Right, yeah, there are stripes just visible there. Okay, this is the system of Uranus which rotates on its side pointing towards the Sun. So the inner satellites can be seen there and then there's a whole mass of outer satellites really, really far out. Now, looking around them, there they are, they're all over the place. There was the Sun in the distance there and it's also possible to zoom in and you see that the inner satellites which were known at the time in 1977 are just there. The outermost one is known as Oberon. This is Oberon. It possibly has a liquid ocean of water inside it. What other kind of ocean is there about liquid? But anyway, that's what I just said. Okay, so that's Oberon. Next one. In is Titania. By the way, they're all named after... It's the same again with this one. They're all named after Shakespeare's characters and also characters from The Rape of the Lock. By Alexander Pope. So there's another liquid ocean inside that one. Next one. Umbriel. This is the darkest one. It's possibly covered in something carbony or possibly thiols. As you can see, Uranus is quite large in its sky. Next one along. Miranda. This is Miranda. This is fairly cl a lot closer to Uranus and a bit darker. Now Finally, you have Ariel, which is the closest of the large satellites and by far the lightest because it's mainly made of ice. Next one along is Puck. Puck is smaller and was discovered a lot more recently by the Voyager probes in the late 80s. And there it is. Puck is again named after a character from uh, Shakespeare, obviously, the fairy. Uh, what is there? What, what is there to say? I hope the video moves on in a second because it's still there and I've got nothing to say about it. And there you go. Right. Now, looking at the whole range, there is Uranus. Now, Uranus is the coldest planet in the solar system. It also is also very grey and sort of aquamarine looking and uh, is very featureless. So, those are the inner ones. They're thing called things like Bianca, Ophelia, Cupid, uh, Desdemona, Juliet. Ophelia and Mab. Mab is actually orbiting inside a blue ring made of water ice. Further out again, those are the ones that were known earlier and are called Miranda, Ariel, Umbriel, Titania and Oberon. Further out again, there is another system consisting of more um, distant, very small moons and finally you can see the whole system there from a distance of 600 million kilometres. And that's more or less it.